The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have seen Christ's glory, the glory as of a father's only son. For a child has been born for us, a son is given to us. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. Let us praise and thank the Lord. It is right and fitting, for greatness, magnificence, and glory belong to him. We praise and thank you, O God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom you have enlightened us by revealing the light that never fades. Night is falling, and day's allotted span draws to a close. The daylight which you created for our pleasure has fully satisfied us, and yet of your free gift, now the evening lights do not fail us. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him be glory, power, and honor to you and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen.
Psalm 110. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord will send the scepter of your power out of Zion, saying, rule over your enemies round about you. Princely state has been yours from the day of your birth. In the beauty of holiness have I begotten you, like dew in the, from the womb of the morning. The Lord has sworn, and he will not recant. You are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord who is at your right hand will smite kings in the day of his wrath. He will rule over the nations. He will heap high the corpses. He will smash heads over the whole earth. He will drink from the brook beside the road. Therefore he will lift high his head. Almighty God, make known in every place the perfect offering of your Son, the eternal High Priest of the New Jerusalem, and so consecrate all nations to be your holy people, that the kingdom of Christ, your Anointed One, may come in its fullness. And to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all honor and praise now and forever. Amen. Hymn number 75, number 75. Bright and glorious is the sky, radiant are the heavens high, where the golden stars are shining, all their rays to earth inclining, beckon us to heaven above, beckon us to heaven above. On that holy Christmas night, through the darkness beamed a light. All the stars were above were paling, all their luster slowly failing. As the Christmas star drew nigh, as the Christmas star drew nigh. Sages from the east afar, when they saw this wondrous star, went to find the king of nations and to offer their oblations unto him as lord and king unto him as lord and king him they found in bethlehem him he wore no diadem yet but they saw a maiden lowly with an infant pure and holy, resting in her loving arms, resting in her loving arms. Guided by the star they found, him whose praise the ages sound, we to have a star to guide us, which forever will provide us, with the light to find our Lord, with the light to find our Lord. As a star, God's holy word leads us to our King and Lord. Brightly from its sacred pages shall this light throughout the ages shine upon our path of love shine upon our path of love. A reading from St. John, the 15th chapter. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, 
that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Teresa of Avila. May you be blessed forever, Lord God. Although I abandoned you, you did not abandon me. You held out your hand to me. I refused it. I did not attempt to understand why you kept calling me. As the sins increased, I lost my taste for virtue. Goodness left me because I left you. You warned me in many ways with concern and pity. I gave you no attention. O Lord of my soul, how can I applaud the goodwill you showed me during those years? When I offended you the most, you prepared me with an extraordinary repentance. You knew exactly what would be the most distressing thing for me. You punished my sins with wonderful gifts. I had many friends who helped me fall. No one helped me up. It is surprising that I did not remain down. I praise the mercy of God. He alone extended his hand to me. May God be forever blessed for putting up with me for so long. Amen. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to me, to us, by his Son. The star burned like a flame, pointing the way to the King of kings. The wise men saw the star and brought their gifts in homage to the great King. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. 
from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their throne and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The star burned like a flame, pointing the way to the King of Kings. The wise men saw the sign and brought their gifts in homage to the great king. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for all people in their daily life and work, for families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for this community the nation, and the world, for all who work for freedom, justice, and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the just and proper work use of God's creation, for victims of poverty, fear, injustice, and oppression, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all people who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, and the prayers of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant, we implore you, Almighty God, that the new birth of your only begotten Son in the flesh may set us free, who are held in the old bondage under the yoke of sin. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.